Hi guys, Happy New Year. In this video, we will learn how to create super smooth animations like Vox in CapCut. Our final result will look something like this. At least five days before Hurricane Lee struck land, weather forecasts had roughly predicted its trajectory. But another forecast beat them. For step one, let's start by creating a Vox style canvas or background. Let's head on to Canva. Over here, I have created this background. In order to search for this, you can just go to Elements and over here, search for grid pattern. You will get multiple patterns. You can select anything that you want and drag it over here. Once you drag the element to the canvas, all I have done is go to transparency and decrease the transparency to 39. For step two, we are going to do asset collection. For our animation, we are going to use multiple weather forecast. So I have created two unique assets again in Canva and then I have imported them to CapCut. Just make sure that when you import them to CapCut, your green background over here, which can be easily removed using chroma key. With our step 1 and step 2 done, now let's start with our animation. By the way guys, if you are serious about video editing and want to go to the next level, make sure to check out my course CapCut Masterclass, where I will turn you into a professional editor in just 3 days. Plus, as a new year gift, I will be giving one lucky student free access to my course. Just comment down CapCut and what you would like to learn from me and I will choose randomly. Let's get back to the course. First, you are going to drag the background to the timeline. Let's keep it around 8 seconds. Now we will add the elements one by one. We we'll start with the line. Let's go to text. Add a default text to a timeline. Again, let's keep it till the end. Let's remove this and put some dashes. Go to font and we have to select a font where we get a very thin line. So the one which I found out was called as deco type Nessel special. It's a free font in CapCut. Let's change the color. Let's keep it a gray color like this. And in the character, let's keep it around minus 3. Perfect. Now all we need to do, just extend it till the end. Press scroll up. Let's decrease this. We can keep it around 8. Yeah, the line looks good. Now let's go back to the media and start placing our images to a timeline. For your understanding, I have only taken two unique images, but you can take any number of images that you want. Let's place them over here. As you can see right now, we have this green color. To remove it, you can go to remove VG. Click on chroma key. This color picker is already selected. Just come over here and press once. You can see the background is immediately removed. We'll do the same with this one. Let's drag it to a timeline. Again, click on chroma key. Bring the color picker to a timeline and click once. Perfect. Let's drag it till the end. Let's select both of them. And let's decrease the scale. We have to place five images over here. So decrease it to the size so that all five of them fit perfectly. Let's select one. We might need to reduce it further down. So I'm just going to keep it around, maybe yeah, 30 looks fine. We'll keep it over here. Same with this one. Let's keep it around 30. Let's place it on the side. We need to place three more. So for now, I'm just going to select both of them, pressing Ctrl. Now place on Alt and drag them up. If you're using Mac, you can use Command. Let's take the copy and place it over here. Let's first place all five of them and then we'll arrange them properly. For this one, again, let's place it over here. And for this one, let's take one more copy of it and place it on the top. We can place it somewhere over here. Uh, right now you can see the alignment is not proper. So let's select all of them by pressing Ctrl. You see these options over here. Firstly, let's align them to the top or you can align them to the middle and then distribute them horizontally. Now let's select all of them and bring them a little lower because we have to connect them with the notches. This looks good. Now let's add the notches over here. Let's scroll in. To add a notch, again, let's add a text layer and place it over here. Extend it till the end. We can add two, three lines. Scroll down. In the character, make it minus. Let's see where it is. Yeah, it's over here. Go to drop down. Select the same color, which we had used earlier. We'll need to decrease the size. Maybe something like this and just rotate it. Maybe we just need two, not even three. So yeah, this looks much better, right? So we'll keep it over here somewhere in the middle this is the middle point we can keep it over here let's do one thing let's make this lower yeah maybe around minus four yeah this looks much better now let's take four more copies and place them below these four images so place alt and drag this up second time third time and fourth time take the first one let's put it over here like this one again drag it to a third one yeah this looks perfect let's click on the fourth one drag it on the right over here and then the last one. Select the top layer and again move it. Uh, yes. Let's move it over here and in the for the fifth one. Perfect. The scene is looking much better already. Now before we make any other changes, let's combine all the layers so that we have a clean timeline. 
pressing control let's select all of them except this line keep the lines like this for now i will tell you the reason later on select all the other 10 layers the images as well as the notches okay right click on this and create a compound clip this way now we have a clean canvas in front of us now let's add a text below the images let's again click on text and add it over here drag it till the end we are going to use the font call as perpetua so click on the drop down search for perpetua perpetua yeah this one and over here firstly we'll write the date as september 15 and select the color as this one to be honest you can choose any color that you want for now i'm just choosing this color let's scroll in let's skip september 15 over here similarly i know this is a little time consuming but it will be very easier to us later on once we set the entire scene so let's take five copies of this three four and five let's put it over here and this one is september 16 later on once we place all five of them we'll align them properly let's select this again and put it over here this one is september 17 okay anyway let's do it from over here september 17 let's select this again september 18 and finally september 19 if you see in the original animation when the arrows came from september 15 to 19 this text is getting highlighted so in order to avoid doing this later we can do it right now itself so for doing it let's take a copy of this and press it above maybe this can start around here at five seconds for this one scroll down and let's add a background we'll keep it as the red background and again scrolling up let's change the color and keep it as white so it will look something like this but again we want this text to be highlighted with this color for that right click on this and create it as a compound clip come to the start go to video and click on mask and then click on horizontal mask rotate it like this and take it over here at the start now click on keyframe go ahead around 20 frames again click on the keyframe and drag this to the right so it will give you wait let me just increase this yeah now you can see it will look something like this if you feel this is too slow you can just adjust the keyframes over here perfect Similar to how we combine the notches and the images, let's combine all the text. Let's select this one. Let's select all the others as well. Right click and create a compound clip. Perfect. Now let's add the circle and the arrow. Before doing that, let's first set the canvas to our final position. For doing that, firstly, let's select this one and let's arrange it like this. It will be somewhere over here. Maybe you can reduce this further and keep it something like this. Similarly with this, let's decrease the size and we can keep it on top of this let's keep it little down let's go to video over here in the position we can um, make this minus so the notches touch the line the reason for this at the end of the animation we are going to scroll to the left over here on the left uh, we have to add one more image so i'll just keep some space for that let's zoom in yeah, this is looking much better so coming back to the circle and the arrow for the circle we are just going to take it from the stickers just click on stickers over here you can search for red circle this looks good but we want something which is animated let's search yeah something like this looks much better so we'll do one thing we'll add it to our timeline let's decrease the size you can keep it something like this it's going to start from one second so we can keep it over here but if i play this you can see as this circle is a gif it keeps on repeating we don't want that we want it to happen once and then stay in the still image throughout the rest of the animation in order to do that how is the solution first let's drag it till the end we want this image this point to stay till the end so we'll do one thing right click on this and create it as a compound clip then at this point again right click go to edit and freeze the frame we can delete the rest and this one we can extend it till the end okay now let's add the arrow let's go back i already taken this arrow and created it in canva and just dragged it over here let's go to remove vg chroma key let's remove the background we have the arrow over here okay it can start over here this looks much better we can keep it something like this so we get this circle and at this point the arrow will also emerge so we'll do one thing we can keep the arrow over here go to mask create a horizontal mask rotate the mask and at the start we can keep it over here add a keyframe then go around here let's go around 3.5 seconds add another keyframe and bring this to the end let's see how this is looking perfect when it is coming at the end 
we have a text which comes over here at the same time the date also gets highlighted so let's do one thing it comes over here at this point so let's add the text over here let's go to text add a text to our timeline the text is landfall so let's just write landfall we can use the same font for now just decrease this I'll keep it over here let's zoom it in change the color if you want exact color we can use this color picker come over here and click on this you get this color let's keep it over here go to animation and the in animation let's give it a fade in or we can even give it a type in let's decrease the duration and keep it 0 0.2 seconds perfect when this happens at the same time ideally this also should get colored first we will check if this is happening properly or not okay so this is coming here and it is and we get the text actually this is happening too fast we'll do one thing so let's keep it around 0 0.5 seconds okay at the same time we want the color of this to also be highlighted so we'll do one thing this is happening at 3.5 seconds so our text was over here so double click on this let's just place it at 3.5 seconds so 3.5 seconds is this one let's place the start over here inside let's extend it more so that if you go back again you can expand it till the end this way again if you go back you can see the text it comes at the same time perfect if you want to change the color of this to the same one again you can double click over here in the background below you can choose a darker shade okay let's go back perfect before you complete all the keyframe animations let's see the changes that we have done till now perfect let's start the animation by selecting both the layers and increasing the size by dragging it from the corners we'll keep it around 200 percent let's arrange it over here this is going to be our starting point so select both the layers right click over here and we have to combine them but as you can see over here we have a restriction as in CapCut, we have a limit up to which we can do compound clips. But I have a quick solution for this. What you can do is hide these layers, this one and this one, and just export this. Then go back to media. You can open this again, go to import and import it again. And then drag it to a timeline. Perfect. You can hide this one. And right now you can see we have black background. But you can just go to remove background, click on chroma key and just remove the background. Keep the intensity as one. So that all these numbers are still perfectly visible now when you select both of them and right click on this we get the compound clip option which was not there earlier perfect let's skip it over here right click on this and create a compound clip now let's take the player to the start click over here and in transform let's add a keyframe we're going to increase it and keep it almost something like this around 200 percent this is going to happen very fast so don't worry about it we can keep it over here Let's move on to 10 frames or around 20 frames. At this point, we are going to zoom out. So let's add a keyframe and decrease the size. You can keep it around 150 and keep it maybe somewhere over here. Then again, move around 10 frames in or around 20 frames in. Basically, the time when the circle comes in. At this point, we have to shift it to left. So add a keyframe. First, we'll decrease the size. We'll decrease the size further. Keep it maybe around this much. Perfect. So ideally, let's see how it's looking. We are going to do easy -ease animations to give it a smooth, easy -ease effect. But before that, let's first finalize the linear ones. While zooming out itself, we can zoom out and keep the position and keep the size at which we want the final size to be in. So maybe our final size is around 135, right? So we'll keep it at 135. Something like this. It's at 135. Okay. And then it will shift and it will stay at 135 just it will go on the left so like this and then on the right perfect perfect now in order to complete the animation let's add the final element on the left so around th six seconds let's add another keyframe let's go around 20 frames ahead add another keyframe and let's shift the position maybe over here at this point there should be another image over here on the left with the proper date so we'll do one thing let's quickly add one i'm going to speed run through this process as you are already aware how to do it Okay, this is going to happen at this point. Let's decrease the size. I'm going to keep it over here. In fact, we can do one thing. Let's cut it from here. Double click over here. And let's add it inside itself. Let's paste it over here. Okay, so we'll zoom it. We can keep it over here. Let's add a date. We are already aware of the entire process. We did it for all of them. We'll keep the date as maybe September 10th. Decrease the size. 
we can keep it over here below for an understanding i'm just not adding the notch for now let's change the color keep it gray perfect now if we come back perfect as you can see it's there already now let's give an easy, easy effect to all our keyframes so right click over here and click on this variable speed animation let's first adjust for the scale click on this keyframe to auto curve then for this let's do auto curve we click on x over here we have multiple ones all you need to do is auto curve for all of them we have not made any changes in y so those are good to go now let's see it from the top i'm going to zoom in okay let's see it from the start it goes to september 19 we are a text and finally it goes to the, to the left perfect thank you guys for watching the video if you want to learn how to edit like box make sure to check out this video